I'm really, really, really privileged to be here. Um, I, um, I have so much to talk to you about, to you guys about, and um, I normally, uh, I'm known for being one of those uh, speakers. Uh, I'm very energetic, I'm a very um, enthusiastic, and uh, I tend to, you know, uh, step out of the, uh, the track when I, when I talk, so I'm gonna try to really keep to my notes, and, because I have so much information to share with you guys, and uh, as, uh, uh, Heller um, talked about as well. In the afternoon, I'm going to do a uh, hands-on session, so I'm going to try to save as much as possible to, to later on. So if you, um, if I look on my uh, on my notes here, it's because I really want to uh, um, deliver uh, this presentation, which is very very exclusive. It's very unusual that Adobe um, uh, opens up our process the way that I'm about to do. Okay, so that's the reason. Looking at my notes, so. Got that out of the way. Um, as most of you guys know, uh, Adobe has gone through a, an amazing transformation since um, around four years ago. We started our journey into transforming, pretty much disrupting our own company. You know, we disrupted ourselves, pretty much. Uh, you know, transforming our, our uh, business into, you know, from this typical way of Adobe, so, the way we sold our software back in the days, you know, we had CD ROMs and DVDs, and we packed our software in there, and we put those shiny, amazing, beautiful boxes, and uh, we delivered our, our uh, te technology that way. We moved into this whole, um, you know, becoming a software, uh, um, you know, so software as a service company, delivering our, our, our solutions instead of talking about products. We actually put them as solutions and we delivered them out there. So, um, We basically gone from, um, you know, just talking about creativity and uh, and and solutions and 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 uh, tap into what the industry w was all about and looked internally and said, okay, we have a process and the process that we have is we would take in a year around six to twelve products. And you know the ideas. We take them all the way from uh, the idea stage, um, you know, to a prototype stage, to actually uh, putting them in front of a customer. And we said, okay, we need the typical evaluation process that we go through with our software. We we need to evaluate them. We need to get feedback. It would normally cost Adobe um, one hundred thousand dollars to um, sometimes a million dollars uh, to to really create each of those projects before we actually uh, deliver them, shipped and deliver them in the past. What we've done is, is this. You know, the typical, the typical uh, project that people will do is the, um, uh, you know, uh, hackathons and uh, uh, structured processes that, you know, you go through in a lab and you evaluate things. Those are um, uh, what, what customers would not, what, what, what users would normally want to, to, to go through, and, and those are actually just um, focusing on the end result of an innovation. So what Adobe would have to do is that we do develop a lot of software, we do go through a lot of process of taking things in the lab and, and looking at, uh, you know, getting feedback and evaluating process and so on. And we also use a lot of those boot camps and hackathons and all that kind of stuff. But what we said all of a sudden is that this whole disruption that we're going through, the fact that we're putting our software in the cloud pushes us and, and makes us deliver a lot more innovation at the pace that's a lot faster than we, what we, we did before. So we need to come up with a new way of thinking, a new, new way of actually uh, getting our employees, our, our developers, our designers, our UX uh, people uh, to create um, better solutions for, for, for our customers. So the key realization was that we need to think in a different way, and we need to think more long term. We need to, we need to actually put a deeper investment in, in the way we, we're doing things. So we wanted to create innovations, you know, to tap into the market, to tap into all these uh, 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 trends that's out there in the digital landscape. But we wanted also to make sure that every single employee helping us with these innovations, they should become innovators themselves. So that's a very, very, uh, um, you know, tough 
thing to do. So what, how do you do that then? We make sure that these individuals inside the company, they need to gain all the experience that they need to create innovations, you know, to become an innovator. But also, they need the experience of failing the experience of going through this process of, of coming with an idea, taking you from the idea stage over to uh, you know, evaluating it, uh, testing it out, and then shipping it out. They need to fail. We weren't successful um, because we, uh, we were failing too... Uh, the, the failure rate was too low at Adobe, basically. You know, if you, if going back to what I said at the outset, you know, the fact that we just took a dozen to half a dozen to a dozen uh, uh, of those projects from idea stage, those, those are too small if you want to really, really come up with uh, amazing uh, solutions and at a faster rate to deliver uh, that uh, globally. So what we did was that we make sure that we take this whole process of innovation and we get uh, a way of thinking and we put it in an experiment. So this is what we did. We um, made sure that any employee can receive a box. This is a red box. And uh, so we had to treat all the employees inside the company as our potential, potential customers. You know, customers out there uh, uh, are willing to uh, do new things and create new solutions, new services with Adobe's technologies. And we know exactly how to uh, deal with those customers. So internally, we had to look inside and say, okay, we need to treat these employees um, the same way as we would treat uh, an external uh, customer. All of a sudden, when we start thinking about this whole process that we are about to deliver to, to our employees to actually teach them how to innovate inside our organization, when we start thinking about the way we're going to deliver this thing as a product, all that typical... Um, you know, uh, product-making DNA that Adobe has, uh, you know, honed for the past 30, uh, 40 years just came forward. So this is an experiment, and the experiment was this. We delivered everything that we're about to, uh, now I'm about to show you. I'm going to take you through this process and uh, share this with you. But we deliver everything inside a red box, the way of thinking inside a red box. And we put together this two-day workshop inside Adobe, and, uh, and basically, this whole concept of, of uh, the re what's going to be put inside this box was put together from the ID stage to uh, you know, putting together a draft uh, um, uh, model of how the, this process is going to be delivered. All of that was done inside of such a huge organization as Adobe. It just took us two weeks to go from basically coming with this idea and then putting it and packaging it in, in a box and then delivering it inside the, the organization and testing it through. And that's unheard of, you know, from a big, big organization like Adobe. So 